I think for me, one of the most important attributes of being a leader is the ability to communicate. If you can't communicate, then you shouldn't be a leader. And in times of crisis like we're in at the moment, communication is absolutely key. Getting the team together, whether it's virtually, whether it's in a room, pretty much it's virtually at the moment, then those messages have to be authentic as well. So honesty, openness, say it like it is, good messages, bad messages, positive, negative, warts and all, I think that builds the trust in a leader. Also important as a leader is visibility uh, at any time, you know, in normal circumstances, but even more so now, the, the teams know you're there, know you're there to support them, know you're there to, to offer advice, uh, to give, be flexible uh, and offer a bit of leeway and I think that's really important as well in, in these times of um, a lot of stress and strain personally for people as well. We need to recognise that and give people that space that they may need to go and collect their children from school, they may need to, to look after their, their, their elderly parents. So we need to recognise that as a business and give people space and I think if you do that you get a hell of a lot more back uh, in return. And I think if, if as a leader you get it wrong say you got it wrong. Humility is a fantastic tool uh, and people will trust you more if you admit you get it wrong. We all make mistakes so please admit it if you do. Don't try and cover it up. In any industry it's, it's easy to get wrapped up in its jargon uh, and, and we got loads of acronyms and things that we use across many many different markets and sectors so I'd keep away from them. Keep it really simple keep the comms very simple, very understandable. At the end of the day, you're communicating to a vast array of different types of people, right from the junior apprentice level up to maybe boardroom. So keep it simple and be very mindful of that, that your communication has got to be very clear, very simple and very direct as well. Along the way, you all have to be positive as well. If a leader is seen as being down, uh, and negative and moaning, then that's going to draw the whole team down as well. So you have to have that glimmer of hope and you have to paint that picture of what the future could look like. So being positive is really, really important uh, to keep that morale up and keep the team uh, really on track. Uh, and a way of doing that is painting that, that, that future. Uh, what is the opportunity? Don't keep talking about the negatives and all the crisis and what's happening and it's all gloom and doom. What are the opportunities? Because always there's an opportunity out of a crisis. And it's amazing what we've done in our team, the amount of opportunities and the creativity and the innovation, the pioneering spirit that's come out has been absolutely amazing because if you put that environment in place, the team will respond to that. And that's really, really powerful. So we put in place short term, and I mean short term is literally weeks, what is, what is in the now, which is important, of course it is, and that will keep changing. But what's going to happen in a month or two? You know, what's going to happen in May, June, July? And then what's going to happen when we start to come out of this in September? What will be the opportunities there where everything tips on its head and we have to now ramp up production, ramp up the resource? Are we going to be ready for that? So you don't need to touch on it hugely, but people need to know you're thinking forward. And that is so, so important. On a personal level, um, it can be a bit lonely being a leader. And with everything going on and, and everybody feeding off you and, and you feel the world sometimes is closing in on you. So it's very easy to just draw it all in and not share, it, share that pain in a way, uh, but also not share any of the responsibility. So in the end, the leader is run ragged. You're not looking after yourself. People are not trusting you because they're saying, oh, you just want to do it all yourself. You don't want our help. So share that pain go out to the team, share the responsibility, and ask for help. Uh, and there's nothing wrong in asking for help. And if your morale's good, the team are being really effective and are behind you, they will want to take things from you. Because as a leader, you've got to sit at the top of the organization and take the helicopter view. And if you're not doing that, then there's going to be a problem because you need to see how that organization is working from the top and that big picture. So it's very much around looking after yourself, sharing the responsibility uh, and taking breaks uh, and, and really thinking about your health because as a leader, if you go down, that's going to have an impact across the organisation.